This is Eugene Henrikovich from the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Aspire Timeline X 4830, 4830 laptop computer. And we're going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on this laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to remove all sources of power to make the laptop safe to work on. In order to do that, we need to disable the battery. For most laptop computers, you can remove the battery, but for these newer series of laptop computers that are more thin and sleek, you need to disable the battery, and I'll show you how to do it. So you flip the laptop over, and you use a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size to remove a panel on the bottom of the laptop. Um, this panel is secured by one screw and the way you can tell that this is the right panel is that there's two uh, vented openings on each side and there's a screw in the middle. So we use the screwdriver to remove the screw and sometimes the problem that I see is the screw doesn't want to come out all the way so you need to magnetize your screwdriver so that the screw comes out of the way. Without removing the screw, you damage the panel. Once we remove the panel, once we remove the screw, we slide the panel towards us and lift it up. Okay, then once we do that, between the hard drive and the memory and the memory cards, there's a sliding switch that turns on and power on and off. So when we slide it away from us, the power is on, and when we slide it towards us, the power is off. So we want to make sure that the switch is slid towards us where it says PW off. You'll see PW off there. Okay, so we put the panel to the side because we have to turn the power back on later. Flip the laptop over and take a look at the front and see what we have. We need to remove the screen bezel from around the screen to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic screw covers. And now is a good time to introduce the rest of our tools to do the job. I've already showed you the PH1 screwdriver that we need to remove the larger screws. Then we have a PH00 screwdriver, I'm sorry, this is the wrong one, PH00 screwdriver for the smaller Phillips screws, and a 2mm flathead screwdriver to pry things open and to remove Phillips screws at an angle. It's very handy, but I'm not sure we'll use it for this laptop. We have a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck and an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife to remove the plastic screw covers which we'll start with right now. So we're going to remove the plastic screw covers. There's one and you see the screw hiding behind there and we're going to remove the second one. To, what we like to do with the screw covers is put them right next to the screw openings so we don't lose them. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws. There's one and two. And for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile. So when we're putting the laptop, the screen back together, we know which screws go where. Once the screws are removed, we can snap the screen bezel off. And what you do is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds and gently lift it off. So we go around the screen like so. Okay, this is so bit tough. I check to make sure there are no screws that I missed. We keep going around. Like so. You snap it off 
and the screen bezel snaps off and we put it to the side. Once we do that, we take a look at the screen assembly and we see it's a it, the screen is mounted by some screws on top and some screws on the bottom and that's it. This type of screen is different than the most screens in that it's mounted in the front rather and the sides as most screens. So the newer laptops that have a thinner profile have this type of screen. So what we need to do is to remove the top two screws and the bottom two screws and for this we use our smaller PH00 screwdriver. Make sure I get the right one. So we move, remove the two screws at the top. Let's see if we can get a good angle. And when you do this, make sure the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove all screws that the screen doesn't just fall forward on you, damage something. Okay, so there's the screw at the bottom, which we remove. And one more. And we're done. Once we remove all four screws, we gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure it's not getting stuck on anything. And we tilt it forward. Okay. Once we do that, we see that there's only one connector we need to remove. And it's secured by some adhesive tape. And what we want to do is lift up this adhesive tape using either a fingernail to start it or the exacto knife to start it whatever works for you and lift it up all the way around like so and then once we lift it up we just pull the connector back so slowly being careful not to damage it pull the connector back like so. Now before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector because people often don't connect it properly. When you slide it in, be careful this one is a little bit trickier than usual, make sure you'll feel two clicks. You won't hear them but you'll feel two clicks when you slide it in. And let's take a look at the close-up what it's supposed to look like. Okay, you'll notice that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connect connection. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. This is a properly connected connector. Okay, let's keep moving on. So we slide the connector out again, and we take a look at this screen. Uh, this screen is known as the 14-inch LED Slim screen. And that's the name for it. And let's take a look and see if we can find the model number or the part number. The part number, I don't know if you can focus it that well. Let's maybe do this a little bit different so we can get a good focus. The part number that we're looking for is BT140GW03. That's all you need to know. BT140. GW03. Okay, once you receive this screen, the part number that you receive probably will match this one, but it will be a compatible screen. Now, we at Screen Surgeons also sell this screen, and what you get with us is a two year warranty with every screen we sell. We have free email technical support, so when you receive the screen and have problems installing it, We'll walk you through it by email for free if you need the help. The toolkit that you saw me use to do the installation, it also comes for free with this screen. So when you order the screen from us, you'll get this toolkit automatically. It includes all the tools. And finally, we stock these screens in warehouses in Los Angeles, Tucson, Chicago, and Philadelphia. So once you order it, you'll get your screen quickly in three days or less. Or if you're outside the United States, most likely you can get a ship to your country. So just follow the regular checkout procedure and choose your country when you ship. To order the screen from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com and either fill out a form with the laptop model or uh, 
click on find your screen and do a search for this laptop model and then you'll get the search result that will take you to the right page to buy the screen online. Okay, once you do receive the screen, connect it properly as I showed you, then mount it on the four screws on the top and down, bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the bottom, put the screw covers in, then flip the laptop over, switch the output power to on as I showed you before, put the back panel back on, and you should be ready to go and your laptop will be as good as new. Okay, that's it, and good luck. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much.